The greatest year you've ever had. Under 16 years of presidents, Obama and Bush, oh, household oh, income true. rose only yeah, $2,945. Okay, $2, it's, okay. it's going, it's going. That's over a course of 16 years, close to 3000 right? In three years, and including energy, because look at the saving. How are you doing at the gas pump? Not so bad, right? Did you ever see that? You ever think this that is was my town, by the way. In three years. So that was That's less what than I got 3, built right now. over 16. In three years, you went up $10,000, including energy. It's dark out. We lifted 6.6 .6 million it's people gonna be out winter. of poverty. I'm wondering the if largest I'm gonna freeze poverty again. reduction in the first three years of any president in the history of our country. We built the greatest economy in the history of the world, not only here, anywhere. We were beating everybody. You know, for years I heard that China in 2019 was going to overtake us, right? That didn't happen. Then they released the plague, but that didn't happen. And it still is not happening with the plague because they got hit hard themselves. I wonder if they understood that they were going hit, to get hit too, right? But the plague came here. They could have stopped it. It's going to be winter. They could have stopped it from going all over the world, 188 countries all over the world, including Europe and the United States. We've added a record 10.6 million jobs in the last four months, including 3.3 million jobs My first for winter. Hispanic Americans. That's a record. Both numbers are a record. When the plague arrived from China, we launched the largest national mobilization since World War II. We pioneered life-saving therapies, reducing the fatality rate. 85 percent since april you see what i like happened. staying up since there's no penalty Europe has almost a 50 percent greater sleep excess penalty. mortality you don't have rate to sleep. than the you united never states have to and sleep. now you see they're being hit very hard the fake news was saying well i don't know if you've done as well as europe i said we but they don't want to talk about that because that's not good for their narrative our early and aggressive action saved many millions of lives through operation warp speed we developed and distributed a vaccine. We will have a vaccine so soon you won't even believe it. Although they're trying to do a little bit of a political hit. Let's, let's delay it just a little bit. You notice that? Let's delay the vaccine just a little bit. But we have three great companies and then others also. Johnson & Johnson, right? Pfizer, Moderna, great companies. All of them great companies. And they're right there. They're way advanced, way advanced. They're in the final steps. I took historic action to get critical relief for American workers through our Paycheck Protection Program. We saved 3.2 million Florida jobs. We're launching a historic effort to bring our medical supply chains back home where they belong. In 1996, Joe Biden voted to obliterate Puerto Rico's thriving pharmaceutical industry. I am reversing that, and we're going back so that Puerto Rico can get its pharmaceutical industry back, and they're gonna have it back soon. That was Joe Biden that did that. And then they'll vote because automatically, I don't know, they vote for a Democrat. What's the purpose? He's the one that did it. He's the one, look what he did, how devastated. Look at what he did to our African-American community, and people don't want to talk about it. But what he did was devastating, devastating. He's not good for, he's not good for anyone, let's face it. Last week, I also announced an additional $13 billion that goes to disaster relief for Puerto Rico. They got hit hard. I hope they remember that. That was given by Trump, not by the Democrats. Our hearts are also with the communities in the Panhandle. I love the Panhandle. Ron will tell you. I'll tell you, you're a great governor and he's doing a great job. He called up, he said, the Panhandle's it, sir. They love you in the Panhandle. I think I'm at about 99.9% .9 in the Panhandle. But we took care of, we took care of the Panhandle. You remember Hurricane Sally, that was not good, but we took care of it. Ron came into my office and say, sir, we need more money. I said, how much? He gave me a number you don't even want to believe. I said, you got it, Ron. Don't come back, Ron. He comes back about three days later, sir. We need more money. But that's, I guess, a good governor. That's what a good governor does, right? That's what a good governor does. 
I approved a major disaster declaration for the state of Florida last night. And we will be with you every step of the way. Every step, you're there. We're there so fast. We sometimes, you know, other presidents took a long time to approve them. I approve them before the storms hit shore, because we know what's going to happen. We took care of Florida. On November 3rd, Florida will decide whether we end the pandemic and return to record prosperity or whether we allow Joe Biden to kill the recovery, delay the vaccine, impose a $4 trillion tax hike, ban American energy, which he wants to do, destroy the suburbs. He's going to destroy the suburbs. Give free health care to illegal aliens, which means millions and millions of people are going to pour into our country. Winter. And indoctrinate your children with poisonous anti-American lies in their class and their school. My first winter. To combat the toxic left-wing propaganda in our schools, I announced something last week that was very popular, that we're launching a new pro-American lesson plan for students called 1776 Commission. We'll teach our children the truth about America, that we are the most exceptional nation on the face of the earth, and you haven't seen anything yet. You see what we're doing. I've also issued an executive order to prohibit the teaching of critical race theory in the federal government. That hateful Marxist doctrine paints America as a wicked nation, seeks to divide oh, everyone by it. race, rewrites American history, and teaches people to be ashamed of themselves and be ashamed of their country. That's not happening anymore. We fired so okay, many I guess I started guys. fire. We had one getting $350,000 a year right here. <laughs> teaching our military this stuff. And he said, what happened? We said, you're fired. Get out. Done. And many people. No, it's, it's, become, Maybe this will it's help. become a cancer. It's like a cancer. But many, many people gone. They're all gone. Well, let's help. And if they're not, let us know and we'll let them go. But we have to unite together as one proud American family. That's what we are. We're joined tonight nope. by some incredible yeah, I don't think it is. warriors, some incredible people. One of them that I'm most proud of. I got to start a new game. A man that came to this state and what a job he's done. Your great governor, Ron. I DeSantis. wonder if I go in the house. This fire's not helping. This fire's not he's helping. He's doing a great job. Ron is doing a great job. Ron, how are we doing in the election? How are we doing on November 3rd, Ron? Does this okay, help? He says good. We better do good. Well, he uh, won a great primer, and then he beat a man that they said had a good future. I'm not man, he has a long speech. Right How's his future? I don't think it's too good right now. Ron this was guy tough and talk. strong, and he didn't choke under pressure, that's for sure. But much more important than Ron is the first lady of Florida, Casey DeSantis. This man can talk. Um, I don't know if I'm going to survive the winter, to be honest. I don't have the clothes. I don't know how to make Jacksonville a really good guy. I got him to really he wanted to do it so bad. We wanted so, to have our Republican National Convention right here in Jacksonville. All right, let's look. But the timing was a little bit bad. We got hit a little bit with uh, COVID, as they say. We got hit a little bit with the China virus. And, but I'll tell you what, Lenny Curry was absolutely oh, fantastic. Your I mayor, should make that. Lenny Curry. Uh, five logs? Let's do it. All right, you ready? Some of the greatest, toughest warriors you'll ever meet during the impeachment hoax. They said this is the biggest pile of crap you've ever five. seen. Five. I only want five. I'm the only guy in history that got five. impeached five. for an absolutely perfect conversation. All right, let's it was get perfect. this thing going. We sent it around. Everyone said, what's wrong with this? We sent it to the Justice Department. Please check this. Thank goodness we had people uh, what that, was that were under? taking it down, right? Exact <laughs> oh notes. Great patriots. Exactly. They took it down. 
two of them. So. And it was perfect. We sent it to the Justice Department. Please examine this conversation. None of what? We'd like to know what you think. They call back. Oh, they it's say, eight? Uh, okay. okay. Listen, now what exactly are you looking for here? You know, these guys are used to looking at killings and drug dealers. And they're saying, uh, explain to us, what are you looking for? We don't see anything, you know? <laughs> This was the greatest hoax, and today, by the way, you see what David. happened? They caught Stop him. him. They've got him, so, folks. They there got we him go. Both. There we go. We'll talk about I can barely time. walk, though. They caught him. Did they now find rotate? out that Trump was 100% truthful. It was a hoax. They got him cold. It was just announced. Dan Scavino right, just said it's thing? the biggest, it's the hottest thing on the internet. Up here. They got him cold. We'll talk about it in a second. But these okay. are warriors. When I needed warriors, I had them. Representative. Oh, well, Matt I can't rotate Gates this building. All right. I'm liking this right Hi, here. If I can do it here. What a great guy. Right here. What a guy. I think this is good. Big future. Thank you, Matt. What a warrior. Thank you. But he's very shy on television, right? I know this. Oh, where's he's my great. hammer? Thank you, Matt. Ted Yoho. Ted. I sold my hammer. Ted. I sold my hammer. Where's Ted? I think I remember selling my hammer. Oh, no, no, no I didn't job. sell it. I put it away. Ah. Now, uh, you know, a man that is. It's in here. In charge of all spying. He was so good. Where is that it? That Matt and Ron and Ted and Mike Waltz and a lot of people came to see me, okay. Mike. Another great one. Thank you, Mike. Is John Rutherford here? Where is he? Where is he? That's all they want. Number one should be... Uh, what a uh, good job, there. John. Thank you. Thank you for the help. There we go. But Mike Waltz has been so great and... Candidate for Congress, Kat Kamak. I'll do all the sticks. I'm going to keep this live feed until he stops talking. So Kat was in the Oval Office yesterday, I'm going right? to need more sticks. And uh, I said, how are you doing, sir? I'm up 42. And then log, said, 42 I'm good with that. 42 points. That was a big Trump district, right? You're not in any real trouble. That's oh, I'm uh, for sure. She's got, that was a great, that was a great win you had. She'll be with us a long time, a long time. I want to. I really appreciate it. I'm. I'm and like. I'm freezing. We also have some others that are running for um, offices in the I'm Republican need Party, this and we love one thing. the Republican Party. They have been incredible. No, I want you. They have you. been incredible. We also and have I some of you. our in, uh, really unbelievable undercover operatives. And if you don't mind, I won't introduce them. Let's get this over All with. Right. I don't think we're going to introduce them. I want to so badly. Oh, I'm going to keep this live feed until he stops talking. Here. I want to hug him and kiss him, which I'm not allowed to do because of social distancing. But somehow they may lose some effectiveness if I introduce them. So they're in the crowd. I saw two of them, and I won't bother, but they are great, great champions of our country. Thank you. And also, here is a woman who was so, I mean, she was tough. She was in charge of a great wow. state, Michigan. And she kept this asking me, be come back, you're going to win. Everyone two. said, you know, Republicans hadn't won Michigan in many nope. decades. That should be number two. And I felt I should because I was bringing so back. Knife and, numbers. I, Can I, I do eight? so much for the business and jobs there we and go. bringing people back and recommending two. and telling them you're losing your business to Mexico, Canada. And they gave me, 12 years ago, they gave me the man of the year in Michigan. And I made this crazy speech that I said, you're losing all your jobs to Mexico. And all of a sudden, I'm running for office. And a woman who handled it was unbelievable. She'd say to me, sir, would you please come and make a speech? I said, who are you? My name is Ronna McDaniel. I'm in charge of Michigan. Where's Ronna? She said, my name is Ronna McDaniel. I'm in charge of Michigan. I said, I hear we don't have a chance. We should win Michigan, but I hear you're going to win it if you come here. So I went and made a speech. Then I went and made another speech. Then she'd call again and again. I couldn't take it. 
And then I said, look, I'll do one more. She wanted me to do one more. She said, I'm telling you, you're going to win. Do one more. This is two weeks left. And I said, all right, this is it, though. This is it. You know, I've devoted a lot of time to Michigan, and everyone says you can't win. By the way, we just got a poll with three points up in Michigan. She said, sir. Then she used to call me Mr. Trump. I wasn't president yet. She said, sir, please, uh, just this one time. This is it. Three, three weeks out. I said, all right, this is it. Can't do anymore. Got to go uh, to the States. I died. That's it. This is it, sir, I promise. So I did it. So that's the then end the of the game. The election, she said, sir, you're going to win Michigan, but you got to make one more stop. I, I got to like this. This is good. And I made it on election day. I arrived at 1215. In so the what do I do? Load, let's see what day, happens. Right? I started speaking let's at one o'clock in the one. morning on election day. My wife oh. said, are you crazy? All right, I'm going to give you our people. I'm going to see what I can do from here. And the reason I went, she wanted us there, but we found out that crooked Hillary Clinton. Is there any Obama, way I could survive? And Mrs. Obama and Bill Clinton were traveling to Michigan unexpectedly. I don't think so. Because as Bill Clinton told them three months ago, you're going to have trouble with Trump in Michigan. They don't want to listen to him. You know, they said, oh, well, because he's a natural politician. And he said, you're going to have trouble in Wisconsin, too. And be careful of Minnesota. This okay, I got to go. I got to go in the house. They thought he was very funny. But they knew they were in trouble, so they flew there. They had 500 people. Whoa. I went there. Where am I? Where am I? I started speaking at 1 in the morning with 32,000 people in Grand Rapids. Okay. Grand Rapids. Maybe I stay here. Maybe the game's saying, Grand just Rapids. stay here. Did I lose everything? And I said, No, I like still this. got everything. I said, Okay. We're not going to lose this state. You can't lose. When you have a crowd, you can't. Oh, lose. I you thought it was all over, man. I can look at this crowd. I can see. Look at it as far as the eye can see. As far as the eye can see. I'd leave here. I say we're not losing Florida. I can tell you that. You can tell. You can right. feel. I got to figure out a way to warm you up. You can feel it. You have an instinct. We're joined as well by a group of incredible supporters who have recently walked away from the Democrat Party. They walked away from the Democrat. Can't do that. They just registered as. I don't know how to warm up. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And they're going to be voting for us. They just a whole big it's group of people, and I thank you. You're all over the place. Do thank you. We're making thank you use right by the amateur. You need to wear weather appropriate sense. clothes if you want We've to spent avoid the last it. four years. You can all take the terrible the damage Joe Biden well, inflicted over that. the last okay, forty-seven years. Let's go home. Together, we've taken on a corrupt and broken system. That's been throwing I thought we tried that. us from the very beginning. And remember this, and I say it all the I time. I just got to survive the winter. I've done more in 47 <laughs> gonna... months than Joe Biden's okay, done let's go in home. 47 years. That's true. That's true. That's true. See, if I stand in my house, I'll be okay. Right now, I'm freezing. messages was released from the FBI agents involved in the Russia witch hunt. Did you say yes? I'm going to go see if I can this stand in my house talking about before. for the, the winter. The headline from the Federalist reads, Trump was right. Explosive new FBI if I can't, I don't know what else to do. Detail internal furor over handling of the crossfire hurricane investigation. That was the name. This has got to work. Him. We had him before this, but this I is like... I do not know how to tell. Remember the insurance policy? Darling, darling, oh, I love you so much, darling. She's going to win, isn't she? Yeah, yes. I'm still getting cold. 100 million to do win. Do I got to start this fire or something? That's not good odds to me. Oh, maybe. It might not have been great, but they were a lot better than that. 100 million to one, Lisa. I love you so much. Let's see if that does something. But if for some reason... Am I going to get warm know, now? We have an insurance policy. That's I mean, what come we've on. Been living through their insurance policy. You I'm in my house with a fire. Obvious than that. These people are scum. They were trying no, to. No, I do think it's still going down. A coup. Who would think? 
And we caught them before so that. So I don't have the right clothes on. on our By now in the game. And they've gotten caught. Let's see what happens with them now. But this was a big day. I think I this needed to a make a, uh, Never forget. a place to make my they clothes. They're coming after me because I am I'm not ready for, for winter. Wait, wait, wait. I think we're good. For okay. decades, our politicians spent trillions of dollars rebuilding foreign nations, fighting foreign wars and defending foreign borders. But now we are finally protecting our nation, rebuilding our cities, and I we are bringing water? our jobs, our factories, and our troops back Jeez. home to the USA. Well, you know what? Let's do this. 82. Joe Biden championed every globalist betrayal of America for 47 I'm hungry. years. He was a cheerleader for NAFTA, the worst trade deal ever made. Emptied out your factories. And he was a cheerleader for China's entry into the World Trade Empty. Organization. I took the toughest ever action to stand up to China's rampant theft of American jobs. And I proudly signed a historic executive order making it official uh, government policy to five. buy no, American and two. hire American. Hmm. By the way, you ever see this guy? He's using my slogans. He's using my slogans. I saw him the other day. It's like, buy American. I said, I've been saying that for five years. Right? He's using my He has no clue. I'm telling you. You got to come up with your own slogans, Joe. Okay, we're good. We invested $2.5 trillion in the U.S. Right military now. and launched the but first it is new branch of U.S. Armed Forces in nearly... 75 years after the Air Force, the Space Force. Right here. We passed VA choice and VA accountability. Nobody thought that could happen. We have a 91% approval rating in the VA, right? 91% approval rating. Highest in history, highest ever. Do you ever see, I don't want to say this to them because they'll find a vet. Is there an unhappy vet someplace? 91%. Approval. Remember, we used to always watch every night you see things on the news about how badly the vets are treating. Now we have a 91% approval rating. My guys are doing a great job. And today I can announce that the VA is approving a new $46 million lease for a brand new veterans health care clinic in North Jacksonville. We killed the founder and leader of ISIS, al-Baghdadi. We took out the world's number one terrorist, all over the world, number one. The mass murder of American troops and many others. Qasim Soleimani is dead. Took him out. He deserved to be taken out. We withdrew from the last administration's disastrous Iran nuclear deal, $150 billion. You know what he got for it? Nothing. $1.8 billion in cash. He got nothing. Nothing. I kept my promise, recognized the true capital of Israel, and opened the American embassy in Jerusalem. I also recognized Israeli sovereignty over the Golan Heights. And instead of endless war, we are forging peace in the Middle East. You saw what is happening. In fact, I was nominated for two Nobel Peace Prizes last week. <coughs> you know the story. You know the story. Yeah. And I told our great First Lady, I said, First Lady, I was nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. I'm going to come home early. I'm going to watch it on NBC News, which is one of the biggest scam jobs I've ever seen. NBC, probably worse than CNN, NBC. But we're going to watch it. We're going to watch the evening news. So we'll watch second place NBC. You know, it is a second place. They spent all this money on PR and then I hit them hard, but they are bad. I said, first lady, wait till you see it. Nobel Peace Prize. This will definitely be the biggest thing. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, NBC News, they start off with you, they said you, you had some heavy rain. They started off with something else, something else, something else, something else. 
Now the show's almost over. I said, First Lady, they're not mentioning the Nobel Peace Prize. This is very embarrassing. But then it was okay because two days later I got nominated again. That was for Israel. I got nominated again. And I remember when Obra what remember when Obama got? He said, ladies and gentlemen, Barack Hussein Obama has just been nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. So what happened? So what happened? I said, first lady, I just got nominated again this time for Kosovo, Serbia. They're not killing each other anymore. I stopped it. It's totally different. The first was Israel, right? Bahrain, UAE. This one was Kosovo. Totally different. I don't know if that's ever happened before. I said, first lady, let's give it another shot. Man, he talks a we long time. The news, never even mentioned. When Barack Obama got his Nobel Prize, like immediately after he got elected, they asked him, why did you get it? He had no clue. Nobody knew. Nobody knew. And it was a big story. Breaking news. We have breaking news. They didn't have breaking news when I got it. But that's why we understand the press. We understand them very well. They're fake. The last administration made a pathetic one-sided deal with the Castro dictatorship that betrayed the Cuban people and enriched the communist regime. My opponent stands with socialists and communists. I stand with the proud people of Cuba, Nicaragua, Venezuela, in their righteous struggle for freedom. And you're going to win it very soon. You're going to win that very soon. The last administration also negotiated the terrible obama biden Santos deal with Colombian drug cartels. They surrendered the narco-terrorists. They surrendered to them and they caused illicit drug production to soar. Under my administration, we worked with our Colombian partners to launch a historic rival operation against the drug traffickers. And since April, we have seized or disrupted 227 metric tons of poisonous narcotics. Nobody has ever done anything like it. Joe Biden opposed the mission to take out Osama bin Laden. He opposed killing Soleimani. He voted for the Iraq war. He backed the disastrous Iran nuclear deal. And he cheered for the rise of China as a positive development for our country. I don't think so. That was a disaster. Now Biden has put forward the most dangerous and extreme platform of any major party nominee in history. The bad news is he doesn't even know what the hell it is. The Biden plan would destroy Social Security and destroy protections for pre-existing conditions. It will drain your Medicare by giving free health care to illegal immigrants that will come over to this country by the millions when they see this. End virtually all immigration enforcement and impose totally open borders. He would terminate our travel bans on jihadist regions. Remember I got that approved? I don't know. Saying, oh, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. And then I won in the Supreme Court. We have a travel ban. Guess what? Son of a... An increased refugee admissions by over 700%. Yeah, I'm just going to go. Opening the floodgates to radical Islamic take terrorism. Do I just die over and over again? He wants to ban school choice and ban charter schools, which are absolutely imperative for our children. I really thought this life was going to end. I will provide school choice to every parent in America. A vote oh, he's Republic coming close to ending. Is a vote for safe communities, great jobs, and a limitless future for all Americans. He's almost done. And in conclusion, where am I? Over the next four years, we will make America uh, into the manufacturing I go superpower home. of the world, and we will end our reliance. I'm going to die Canada over and over again until I get home. All. I get all my stuff, right? No penalty. All right. Until it's spring. We will make our medical supplies. I got to do this until United spring. We will Die hire more police. Over and over again. Increase penalties for assaults on law enforcement. I think. And we will ban deadly sanctuary cities. That we fire will defend still going. the dignity of work and the sanctity of life. We will uphold religious liberty, free I'm gonna speech. I'm going to go in my house. And the right to keep and bear And I'm going to stay there. Second house. This house. We will strike down terrorists who threaten our citizens, and we will keep up oh. of America, of our great country. We will stay away I from it? those ridiculous, I know, I know. endless 
foreign wars. They never end. I'm gonna die over and over again. No, I want to. They're oh, all coming I see. home. They're all coming home. We will maintain America's unrivaled military might, and we will ensure all right, I'm standing peace right here. through strength. And nobody has strength like we have strength. Peace through strength. I gotta wait. We will end surprise for winter to the end. Require and I didn't price even start it. <laughs> and further <laughs> reduce health insurance premiums and the cost of prescription drugs. They're gonna be coming down by 30, 40, 50, 60. I have to make better clothes. Favored nations. Favorite nations laws will be paying as long right, as anybody right, in the world right, called right. favorite nations. I'm not warming Somebody up here. To do it. And they are spending a lot of money on ads against me. But right I can now. do There's something here. I can do something. They are spending a lot of money. We will strongly protect Medicare and Social Security. No. And we will uh, always protect a weaver patients something. with no. pre-existing conditions. America will have the first woman on the moon. And the United States will be the first nation to land an astronaut. I'm gonna die Mars. again. I'm gonna die like nine times before winter if I don't figure out what to do. I don't get warm in here. That doesn't help. It's close. How do I make clothes? Building. Thank you. That's really nice. Crafting. I had such a nice life before doing this. Selling. Didn't I already make that? But no administration has ever done in the first three and a half years, not even close, what we've done, and that's very gratifying. I want Is to this sewing? And thank this you very much. Crafting. We will stop the radical no, indoctrination of our students oh, and my restore God. patriotic Maybe education I didn't build it to yet. our schools. Where we're we will teach our children okay. to love our country, honor our history, and always respect our great America. I'm going to die at least five more times before winter is over. That's just a fact. <laughs> okay, number one. And we will live by the timeless words of our national motto. In God we trust. For years you had a president who apologized for America. Now you have a president who is standing up for America and standing up for the great people of Florida. So get your friends, get your family, get your neighbors, Get your co-workers and get out and vote. We have to win this election. Most important election we've ever had. I thought I built that. Early voting has already begun. Don't wait. Vote. It's safe. Go out and vote. I uh, hear we're doing very well, by the way. That's what the word is. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. But I hear we're doing very well. From Tampa to Tallahassee, from Orlando to Miami, from Pensacola, to right here in Jacksonville. We stand on the shoulders of Florida patriots who gave their blood, sweat, and tears for this beloved nation. We inherit the legacy of American heroes who crossed the ocean. Oh, he's almost done. Blazed the trails, settled the continent, tamed the wilderness, dug out the Panama Canal, laid down the railroads, raised up the skyscrapers. One, two world I like wars, to put it beside here. Defeated fascism and communism. And from here, in this beautiful, beautiful I state, think I just this sun-drenched this, this, state right? of Florida, we launched American astronauts to the moon. We That's made America this. into the single greatest nation in the history right? of the world. And the best is yet to come. What the world. hell? I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Proud Nothing I can do. Like you help build this country. And so together this we is supposed are to be the weaver, right? All right let's we are returning again. the power to you, the American sure, people. I'm going to die, so let's do it. With your help, your devotion, your drive, we are going to keep on working. So We're I make two of them, so fighting, what? And we are going I'm going to die, keep on but I'm going to plant this thing winning, first. Winning, winning. Come on. We are one movement, 
One people, one family, and one glorious He's nation. He's almost God. done. And together with the incredible people of Florida, yeah, I'm making we two will of make these. America wealthy again. We will make America strong again. We will make America proud again. Oh, where's my... Uh... Oh, he's done, he's done. America safe again. And we will make America great again. Thank you, Florida. Hey! Have a good night, everybody. President Donald J. Trump wrapping up his remarks in Jacksonville, Florida.